Back in again guys with another video beer review, keeping in theme with the Tesco craft beer still. This one is care of the London Beer Factory out of West Norwood and it is their Big Milk Stout. Again another £3 jobber. Vanilla and Cacao Nib Imperial Stout 7.5% ABV. Bit of information there on the back. Um, I don't know, have they moved the goalposts with regards to an Imperial Stout? Because I always thought it was 8 and above. Or maybe it's 7, I, I don't know, but I always thought it was 8. Because um, you get a few of these, these double IPAs, don't you, that are like 6 and a half. Anyway, Milk Stout, Big Milk Stout, Madagascan Vanilla and Cacao lends a luxurious flavour profile to the Big Milk Stout brewed with lactose for a rich creamy body. The stout stands fast as a modern global interpretation of the style. A vanilla notes give way to cacao nib bite with plenty of roasted chocolatey flavour. Full bodied and robust. Hops Magnum Yeast BOI 97 Editions Vanilla and Cacao Nibs. Lovely artwork. Let's get it out into a glass. We've got the 360 on top. And it's full right to the brim. Let's whack it in here. Well, I'm getting a lovely whiff of vanilla even from here now on the pour. Nice little bit of a hiss. Okay, beer in the glass. Deep dark mulgany on that for me. Um, I can just see a little bit of activity going up on that really, really creamy finger of tanned aroma. Mm, luxurious or what? Like a cake shop, that is. Um, yeah, loads of chocolate, loads of vanilla coming up the nostrils. I pick up a little bit of booziness. Um, so Yeah, like like a, a fruitcake booziness sort of whiff to it. Maybe a little bit of molasses or vineness to it. But it smells really, really good. Let's tuck in on it. Cheers. Right, okay. Um, first impressions. I'm digging it. I am digging it. I think it's decent. That there's a little, there's a little bit. I could like sort of like play about with it a little bit more and, and just just ramp it up a little bit. And I'll go into that. As I need to, a couple more sips of this actually. I need to get my head around it a little bit more. Yeah, it's. I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say I like it. I really do like it. Intake wise, initially, it's creamy, smooth, soft. You do get loads of vanilla up front, cakey vanilla. Um, you get a little bit of bitter dark chocolate in there. The body for me is what's playing about in my head at the moment. Uh, Full bodied and robust. I wouldn't say it is that myself. A um, little bit of Coca Cola y as well. Yeah, it's sort of like it, it slips away a little bit on the back end. It doesn't ride it out from start to finish, which is a bit of a shame for it. But I have to say, it, it is a good milk stout. Um, all is forgiven with Dance Juice at uh, London Beer Factory, because I did not like that beer. This, yeah, it's a little bit better. 
um, you know, you've still got to weigh them up. Three quid, come on, you know. You, you can get miracles for three quid because I've just done that bad boy. Oh, that's an absolute steal for three quid. This, three quid, yeah, it's, it's good. It's very good. I get a little bit of booziness, um, which I can live with because of the stout, uh, you know, because of the, the style. It just sort of like complements it a little bit. But for me, yeah, it's it, the body on it needs to just, just be ramped up a little bit more. It, it falls short on the back end. And you get that Coca-Cola sort of thing in there. But still, I still welcome these sort of beers onto the shelves. It's exciting to see a new beer. Um, yeah, definitely go out there and, and give it a go. I know they've bought quite a few Imperial Stouts out. There's a donut one about. I might have to grab that. But this is the London Beer Factory's Big Milk Stout. Vanilla and Cacao Nib Imperial Stout. 7.5%. Uh, would I buy it again? Yes, I probably would actually for three quid. Um, give it another go. There you go. See you on my next one. Cheers.